So for breakfast, I'm making my own take on the classic biscuits and gravy, except for instead of biscuits, I'm getting little buns, sweet buns, and in the gravy, put some sausage. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but that's what, uh, that's all I've seen so far. So I'm just gonna go that way. So this is Biosphere 2. It's been on my bucket list for ages. Meant to go here last year and I didn't make it out. But we just happened to be driving close by, so we're gonna check it out. It's a, a science experiment about how to live on Mars or something. It's really cool. So let's dig into it. So the idea with Biosphere 2 is it's a big science project to see if people could and how people would live off planet in a sealed ecosystem. So they had to produce their own food, they had to produce their own oxygen, filter their own water, everything, right? Completely sealed off. So they stuck a team of scientists in here for a year and they tried to hold out and there was all kinds of issues like the concrete was absorbing the oxygen, they had failures in systems and they had to repair themselves, all of it without any help from the outside, they totally sealed off. Um, there were some pretty hairy moments in that and it show, goes to show that uh, living off planet would be pretty scary sometimes but this is cool. <laughs> So ironically, actually, because of the construction and the materials are so heavy, it didn't actually teach them all that much about off-planet living. And in fact, it taught them a lot more about living on this planet and how everything that we do is affecting our ecosystem. Because when the ecosystem's huge and it covers the whole planet, you, you can't, it's really hard to pick apart the little things that are affecting it. But when you can control it all and have this tiny little space with its own ecosystem that's all t cut off from everything else, then you can start to see what effect we're having on the environment around us. It's like a retro idea of the future. This is a really swank pad, you know, the apartments are really cool, this kitchen's really nice. The building's just gorgeous. I wouldn't mind living in here for a year. For science.
So we're now in the belly of the beast. This is where all of the water and air and everything else is monitored, pumped, filtered, etc., etc. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. So the point of this building is to keep the air pressure inside biosphere the same as the air pressure outside so the windows don't explode. Because that's the kind of problems you have to deal with in a closed system. Well, that was a pretty awesome detour and I have some pretty awesome ideas for uh, building a greenhouse house slash homestead slash I just want to live there. <laughs> Thanks champ. Thanks champ. You anyway, have to live there too. let's hit the road. <laughs> So this is Sabino Canyon and this is the Sabino Creek. It works its way down from a whole mountain spring up in the top. It's so beautiful here. And they built like a little rock dam you can soak your feet after the hike. It's nice. This part of the, the actual park is pretty much empty. It's run by the National Forest, but uh, the main part has like golf carts and a lot of senior citizens, big families. It's a very popular park. This is so close to Tucson. But this spot we got to ourselves, so we're gonna enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
perfect. You like garlic. Mm. To finish off the night, we have a wicked dispersed camping spot in the National Forest, a little fireside cooked steak and potatoes, and some uh, broccoli with cheese. I mean, steak was two bucks, but still, come on, it's awesome. Good night.